Volkswagen has agreed to fix or buy back nearly 500,000 diesel cars in the United States equipped with software that fooled emissions tests. The basic framework of the, the deal that was announced today has, has three components. One, uh, an offer that Volkswagen will buy back the cars for an amount that hasn't been decided and hasn't been disclosed yet, or they would provide a fix to the cars in a way that hasn't been uh, described in full or disclosed yet. Two, they'd offer some monetary compensation to owners, again, in an amount that hasn't been disclosed. And three, they'd set up a large fund to deal with emissions cleanup. Vermont has the second highest per capita of VW owners in all 50 states. Right now, over 3,900 of those cars are affected under this settlement. And this car, um, uh, people perceived as uniquely meeting those two needs, one to find an environmentally friendly car, uh, second to find a commuting car, and perhaps third to find a car uh, with gas mileage that was economic. Both Robert Luce and Tris Coffin say Vermonters they've spoken to have lost their trust in Volkswagen. As it turned out, those three criteria couldn't all be met at once, and they really felt like they had the wolf pulled over their eyes. VW could face government fines as high as $18 billion. The company's lawyers have until June 21st to finalize details of this settlement. To be this far along uh, in the discussions uh, in a case of this kind, uh, especially a case of this magnitude, uh, sometimes it's years before the parties get to a point where they're having this kind of serious conversation. As we say, the devil's in the detail. Details Vermont drivers will have to agree to in order to receive compensation. But will it be enough to restore VW's once gleaming reputation? Uh, for Vermonters, this was not just about money. This was about the environment and the social issues, and I think Vermonters are going to look closely at that aspect of the settlement as well as the financial terms. In Burlington, Jennifer Sheehan, WPTZ News Channel 5.